So, we already got done most of the food down. Okay, we did our michelada. Uh, we did the cebolla all ready to go. The rice is cooked. We got the fritadas all done up. Now, I want to give you guys a little a little flavor of something I just kind of like concocted myself so we can just play with this and see how it goes for you guys and you guys tell me in the comments what you think. I call this the flaming rush. All right, we're going to use cinnamon, brown cinnamon, from chata. We got our Grey Goose parka. So don't laugh at me, this is actually an imitation version of uh, Kahlua and then um, an imitation version of Marmoretto. And then, uh, of course, fireball whiskey. Glass of ice, shaker, full of ice. So make sure that shaker is nice and cold. No water's in there. So you're gonna take your glass, take your fireball, with one shot, one shot of one shot there. Half a shot. Cat broke up. Half a shot of uh, free juice. Now I know what you're saying that the vodka is actually the main ingredient of a white Russian because that's what this mixture is. But like I said, this is my choice, so shut the fuck up. Half a shot of Kahlua. Half a shot of Amarillo. Now this is enough for two glasses for two people. Shaker. Do a good tap. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Yeah. The camera person from the close, you can see that. Nice caramel color. Like I said, there's enough for two. And you got your flaming Russian. Cheers, guys. Yes, see? Now to make sure the way you got it going, it's very subtle, and I actually messed up. Um, then I put my, like a cinnamon on top. It makes it more like a churro when you do this. But how I was about to describe it without the cinnamon flake was, it's very subtle, it's very smooth. It doesn't come off strong like a white Russian mostly does, because white Russian is consists of it's mostly vodka. You know, you got your uh, well, and then that's pretty much it. But what you, what I did here was I diluted vodka down with the cinnamon whiskey. Now, mind you, you're not gonna go ahead and taste that immediate hit, but it's gonna creep up on you. So take it easy; it's a sipper. But now that you put the sprinkle the ground cinnamon on top, you're actually looking at a, a whole different drink here. Um, so. Now don't do what my friend did. My friend went and put a cinnamon on top and went and took a shot. And what happens when you inhale cinnamon right away? You choke. You almost die. Yeah, I mean, apparently there's some kind of like stupid test. I won't do it. So go ahead and DM me all you want or email me, whatever. I'm not going to do that that challenge. I already seen it. I'm not the one. But sprinkle a real nice layer of cinnamon on top as you can see right in there. And uh, it's just it's right after a good meal so we're gonna i'm gonna drink this i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna drink this i'm gonna make another one and we'll eat it with the dinner so see you soon Cheers. so well, here we are i already plated it all together um you put on your rice you put your meat on top and then your cebollado make sure you get some of the juice from the cebollado and layer it after you put on all the meat which is what i like to call the onions tomatoes and cilantro after you lay it on as you can see right here, that's how it should look like when you're done. Okay? And um, besides that, I want to say thank you guys for viewing my channel, um, supporting it by liking and subscribing. And the comments you guys do is just, it's just touching. I love hearing from you guys and what you guys think about what I do. So I want to say cheers. The Flaming Russian. And a shot for episode number 10, guys. That. But let's cheers for another 10. I like that better. Cheers, guys. Till then.
Thank you guys for watching, and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.